Hi, I'm Skeleton, so I make cartoons for a living. This is gonna be like a very small video, me doing my jet set Sona. And I'm actually kinda happy that this challenge is now a thing, cause now I have the time to actually talk to you guys about something that I've been really wanting for years and years. Actually, the last time that I've looked at the script was literally 2018. So I've been wanting this ever since then and I haven't read the script, but I'm just gonna condense it down, talk about some stuff I want for a new game. I fucking love Jet Set Radio Future, and I want a sequel. Of course, it's been a very long time, and I also said a couple of things too, like, oh, I want a Mario Sunshine remake, or like a sequel to Mario Sunshine, or fuck, um, a, a Sly 5, but it looks like those aren't gonna be happening anytime soon. As much as I really want to say that I want these very badly and they have to be made right now. It doesn't seem like they're going to do it in no particular order. These are just random thoughts, random ideas, but just me talking about what I want and like a Jet Set Radio Future sequel. Uh, okay, so my first idea, the characters. The characters are customizable. Imagine what it would have been like if you can just customize your characters. Maybe like work all the characters from the ground up and redesign them to make them look unique from their predecessors and then actually like select the skins of what type of character that you want it or hell you can even switch up the colors of each of the characters that would be really fucking cool like besides having like a the normal yellow red green on beat you can like switch up the colors to make it like pink and blue and just make it like really stylish and very colorful as well but there's also unlockable characters put up like knights earthworm gym or like fucking yeah, hell it put sonic in the game and they're like special abilities can actually just like can be like varied by each of the characters like knights can just like fly for a short period of time or that earthworm gym can just takes out his head and makes a rail out of it just so you can grind on it that would be super dope though also, it'd be really cool to see Echo the Dolphin as a character. He'd be wearing his, his skates as his flippers. Yo, that'd be so cool. Of course, all platforms. Uh, we need it on the Switch, of course. I mean, the Switch is literally... You can take it anywhere you go. You can put it onto the TV or just take it around when you're traveling. A PlayStation, Xbox, and help it in Steam. The level's entirely new stages. All new stages, everything is perfect, everything is beautiful, but you take a boat. You take a boat, you go over there to this island, and this island is basically what Jet Set Radio Future would be like. So you have two fucking games, you got two games. We're doing the fucking Pokemon Go way, dude. Like, you have two separate fucking maps dedicating with so many fucking stages and so many fucking places to go. That would be fucking great. Imagine what it would have been like if it also has like a day and night cycle. Like imagine what it would have been like if you go into like 99th street or any type of like neon stage. And it, you also see the morning side of what the stage looks like. Imagine what it would have been like if it used to see like a beautiful sunset or like it's, it's if it's nighttime or if it's in the morning. Or like it, it, with that you can also be a little more creative with like putting NPCs, like imagine what it would have been like if you have like a little side mission where like where you have to stop uh, this criminal from like stealing shit at the dead of night and you had to do it before the morning. Like imagine how cool it would be if you have like little side missions like that. Or like you have to wait until this specific area, you have to wait until like 5 o'clock at night and you have to wait at this area and then you'll be gifted like that and it would be super make my own graffiti let me make my own graffiti come on like i can't make my graffiti with the controller a controller is to play games i need a tablet or something i mean like now i had this idea ever since even back in like 2018 i did thought this was kind of a disappointment imagine what it would have been like if jet set radio future was on the wii u because with the Wii U, you can at least draw on the tablet part of the Wii U, and you can just do that. Now, with like the Switch and PlayStation and Xbox, just easily just like making your art and then just importing it into your console. Also, yeah, you would have to implement a not safe for work system 
where, oh, if somebody's drawing dicks as their graffitis, then no, then it would be a lot more harder. But I don't know, I feel like you can do a lot more fun stuff with the with the importing your own art as graffiti. You can also show people about how cool your art is and they'll be they'll even be like a little like um the art of the week and it would just show like different types of people's uh, graffitis and like they'll even give you like a, a feature if you want to download that uh, that artwork and you can just use it for your own game and it would be super cool it would, and just by doing those little things alone it makes it like you're putting the cherry on top of the cake you know it just makes it a little more special you already know what I'm gonna say. Import the music. We have already seen a lot more people already saying that the uh, uh, music that is already inspired by Jet Area Future. And it would be really cool if you can just import all those and just put it inside the game. And then, of course, um, other songs too, like, oh, I can listen to The Black Parade or uh, Panic at the Disco, Pink Floyd, or any type of fucking music. Imagine just listening to like, JPEG Mafia. Fucking yes, dude. That's a fucking bop. But you also listen to like Igloo Ghost. Imagine what it'd be like if you can just listen to Igloo Ghost in your. Oh my god, that would be so great. There'll be like a little feature where you can just no, turn off the music from the game and you can implement this feature where you can just turn on the radio station and it would be Jet Set Radio Live. How fucking cool would that be? Jet Set Radio Live is already a radio station that was already made by fans that puts in Jet Set Radio Future and Jet Set Radio Future inspired music that flows super well and it makes the game and the community just talk a little bit more and just everybody just enjoying the music. It'd be super cool. It'd be also super cool if you could just make your own radio station as well. Some some type of device like an iPod and you just like, you can select the music from there and you can just pick whatever fucking music you want to listen to and you just go and skate around and just do some rails and shit. Wouldn't that be so fucking cool though? That would be so fucking dope if you could just do that. So great. And of course, bring back the old music. Let's put Haki Jinuma. We need him. Please put him. Please. He has been dying for a Jet Set Future game, and we just need him. Too Mellow, bring him too. He he literally made an album called like Memories of Tokyo Toe, and it sounds good. It sounds like it belongs in the game, so put him in the game. Of course, multiplayer. Put multiplayer in the game. I mean, I mean, we I already know that we already had multiplayer in the game, but like playing it online that's a different story. I mean, like you can like you can have a friend next to you and local multiplayer and that's fun i mean like i really like racing with people in the game but imagine what it'd be like if you can just go on local on um, like online multiplayer and just play like that that would be so much so much fun i can talk to my friends off like discord and we can both like play jet set Rio future play the game like that or like i can get all of my twitter friends and we can all just play the game and we can all just have a fucking blast imagine what it have been like if i'm like streaming and then like i'm just like i'm a little bored who wants to play some jet set radio and there's like a bunch of people on chat wanting to play this game and then the best time holy fuck imagine what it have been like sega has so much potential to make this game shine and make it beautiful matt we already have a fan base in a community they're so willing to be so creative they've already made so much music they made so much art so much fucking like beautiful shit like look at how many how many fucking fan games there were while there's not even a sequel that came out like there's so much shit like you don't know you don't know have you ever heard of butterfly have you ever heard of like this fan project where they did online multiplayer yes that was already made games like that hell they even made a game that looks like a fucking game boy advanced jet Radio future like that is so fucking cool that is so fucking dope i feel sega is losing their opportunity to doing something and if sega isn't gonna do it i think give the rights to like somebody else like imagine what it would have been like if they just gave it to fucking nintendo like nintendo already built upon the fucking like ideas 
from more other Mario games from like Mario Odyssey and Mario Odyssey and I still haven't even played it have such good positive reception it looks beautiful I can't say anything about the gameplay but I bet it feels fantastic anyways that's the video yeah the this is my Jet Set Sona I, I like him he, he looks pretty cool I might do graffiti style uh, art uh, don't be surprised if if there's a video like that that comes out if you guys like this video Leave a like, share it, comment down below what you want to see in a new Jet Set Radio Future game. And I uh, hope I see you all next time. Everybody, stay dead, everybody, but don't stay dead because wash your fucking hands, dude. Wash your fucking hands.